that is Diana Ross and Tame Impala and Turn Up Some Sunshine. That is a good collaboration right there. I tell you what else is a good collaboration. The team of people in front of me, I am joined by the award-winning Team Creed from Balakameen High School, who are the recent winners of the company programme in the 2024 Junior Achievement Competition. So I have Ben and Miltos and Krishna with me. First of my welcome to you all. Hi. This is where hello, you get hello. to speak. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. hello. hey how you Hi, doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are all here, I promise you. They're just they're just getting used to it, aren't you? A little bit With nervous. The whole kind little of rage, nervous. Think. A bit, yeah. <laughs> You're not nervous, Miltos, I can tell. <laughs> well, listen, just remind us then what it is you've done, because you, you created this incredible bit of kit, this sensor guard bit of kit, and we have heard about it in the past here on Manx Radio, but um, Miltos, just remind us, what is this kit that you've created? Uh, so the sensor guard is a glove for the blind, which uh, practically tells uh, the visually impaired community where obstacles are. It has a camera module and ultrasonic sensors and it like buzzes on your hand and according to how close something is or uh, where it is around you. I think this is extraordinary, not least the idea, which I think was actually inspired by Evie, just the Talking in the Dark podcast, wasn't it? One of your fellow pupils. But Ben, the thing that amazes me about this is the fact that you all had to create this technically. I mean, where does that knowledge come from? So all of us, uh, all of our parents work in the healthcare industry and that's like, our main reason why we did this like that's where our creativity from from this like came into vision yeah yeah so you kind of knew it and then you had to kind of design it and build it i mean you know how difficult was that krishna oh well it was quite challenging at first because we didn't know much of the stuff we needed on how to build it how we program it all up how we troubleshoot which was actually one of the problems we had right before the competition day but i think it's like that like process of like troubleshooting problems finding them and then solving them that was like the main challenge i think but mm -hmm. overall i think the experience has been very good and now you've, you've pitched it to manx care haven't you yeah we so, have yeah and do we know where that's at is anything going to happen with that do you think uh well we have pitched it to manx care we are going to do sessions where they where members from manx care and site matters they try out our product and they give us feedback on how it is what it does not do what it does do. And overall, we can see where we're standing at and how we need to improve. Oh, well, all the best with that one. And Ben, this is something I know you're in charge of sort of the socials for the company that yeah, you've created yeah. here for Creed. How has it been received when you've been posting about it? Um, the, all, all of our posts have been re received quite well. We're getting like good amount of likes on it. And some good people, like not, not good, but like big names have been following us as well. Oh, go on then, drop some. <laughs> Guy Templar, I don't know. Some wow. like some of the people that are involved with Junior Achievement as well have been following us, yeah. helping us throughout as well. Well, it's obviously worked well for you because not least because you won the competition over here, uh, meaning you beat 21 teams from six different schools to win the company programme, which is amazing. But Miltos, you're off to, off to do something very exciting, aren't you? Uh, yeah, so we're going to Italy, uh, Sicily, uh, first week of July. We're facing off against 35 other countries that have also won their regional competition. So it'll be fun. It'll be great. There's a competition day. There's an awards evening, good food. It'll be good. We're That's excited. That's incredible. And, and what happens if you if you win that then? What happens next? Um, so if you win it, I believe the Junior Achievement Company program ends. Obviously, you get the award, you get all that. But we have the opportunity to keep going with the product, maybe uh, license the idea, you know, get a patent, that sort of thing, like continue as a normal businessman. I that think that'll incredible. be very good, yeah. And so, so that's the thing, because I guess you said you want to carry on with this. I mean, Krishna, is there a point then when this might be a big project that is accessible to many, many people around the world? Is that kind of your dream? That is actually my dream, yeah, because I feel like the visually impaired community, there is a gap that needs to be solved with um, navigation. We did some of our own research and we found out that a lot of people struggle with objects that are above the belt and certain obstacles, I think. Our product will really be able to like define what we can do with the kind of technology we have at the moment and how with how artificial intelligence is moving at the moment. I think it's a great opportunity and it's somewhere it's a great place we can expand into and make a change, hopefully. And, you know, this is the thing because you are all sighted, but I'm, I'm assuming you have learned an awful lot about what it must be like to deal with a visual impairment through doing this. I mean, Ben, when, ben what have you kind of taken from it with regards to your research on, on putting this together? So we've met up with um, Sam Matters a couple of times and with them, uh, we had these goggles that um, would represent, not represent, but show us what it would be like with the visual impairments on. And we've tested our glove using them 
uh, um, with like a little maze and stuff like that, so we can really see what we, what it would be like with the visual impairment and using our glove at the same time. That's incredible, and you know, this is now as we said, we're going to Italy, which is which is amazing, and this I think it's going to be live streamed, isn't it? The award ceremony, Miltos, so you yeah, can yeah. actually watch it, will, it. Yeah, you so you can have Manx support mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. kind of shouting you out while you're there as well. But you're looking for some actual support, aren't yes. you? Some financial support, yes. and you know, this sounds like a project that a lot of companies might want to jump on and help with. What is it you're actually looking for, and how can people help you? Um, well, the Manx people can support us by going on Jenny and following that. We have an online trade stand where they can vote. Just explain what Jenny is. So Jenny is basically uh, Jenny J Europe. So it's just uh, the website. Like you can go on and see all the online trade stands. Uh, so we've built one, and you can go and visit it. We'll be there on a, I believe it's a team calls, a Teams call, sorry, or a Zoom call that we can talk to to people, individuals from all over the world, and they vote according to who they think is the best. Uh, trade stand that they've seen so that's how you can support us amazing and then obviously you know you're i think you look, you look for some financial support as well uh, yes yeah, so we're in talks with a company right now for a sponsorship i won't disclose any numbers obviously um but yeah we're, we're in talks we're in talks to get all the parts you know the banners the the shirts the branding things like that Oh, branding, that's what we need. That's your, that's your side of things, isn't it, Krishna? A bit of branding on the go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just ch checking my message because I just had a message come in that looked quite interesting, actually. Uh, let's see. I will come to that in just a moment, um, but it's someone who's quite interested in work talking to you, which is what we want mm -hmm. from here, really is. But obviously, this has all come through the fact that you've done this with Junior Achievement, which is an incredible opportunity anyway that it presents for young people. But I mean... It, it is a challenge, it is hard work, but you get a lot out of it, don't you? So I'm going to come to each of you now and ask what it is that you've actually gotten out of this whole experience. So Ben, what have you gotten out of doing this, the whole junior achievement journey? So it's helped me a lot with my time management, um, prioritising certain things. So I might have exams this week or that week, or I might have nothing on and I can really put this at the top of the list. It's, it's mostly about managing my time and managing what I can do. And are you really good with social media now? Yes, no, I am. <laughs> Making it positive, that's what we need. What about you, Miltos? Because, I mean, you're the MD. That's kind yeah, of, you yeah, know, yeah. So, that's a heavy thing to have on your shoulders. Yeah, I've learned, I've learned how to uh, stop procrastinating through the junior <laughs> achievement. I was a massive procrastinator. Um, I've also learned how to communicate with businesses, you know, network, sort of lobby around, send emails, uh, talk about sponsorships, talk about things like that, very business-minded things. I think it's a great experience. Excellent. And what about you, Krishna? Because, I mean, your finance side of things, I mean, that's not easy. No, it's a lot of crunch and numbers. So yeah. I think I've really understood how to stay optimistic, how to stay determined, have a drive to do things. I've learned how to work around problems and work as a team and definitely also how to stop procrastinating and manage my time effectively. So Excellent. You can prioritize different things when you need to. Well, I'm sure you were all off to do bigger and better things. We'd love it if you stayed here, you know, and, and made yeah. our island better with all of your knowledge and all of your skills and all the of your islands, abilities. The island's great already. The, island, the island's great. Well yeah. said. Yes. You can come back. Positive. Miltos, where do people go to find you and your company and, and all support right, so you? All right, so we have two main social media platforms or social platforms. We've got our website, which is creediom.com, and that's for information about our product, and you can sign up to a mailing list there for updates and things like that and you can also go on our instagram which is creed underscore iom uh that's where we post on the daily day-to-day -day sort of things like the building of our product how the sponsorships are going just for updates on what we do and remind us again ben when is this competition in july so that people can jump online it's and support a, you it's on the, the start of july jo just, just from uh, july 2nd to july 5th yeah and that's the, yeah the the jenny is i believe on the 25th of june i think okay i believe well will you keep us posted we'll keep you posted just go on our instagram on. we'll post updates we'll be rooting for yes, you team creed all the best with it and if you do manage to get that sponsorship and get this product off the ground bring it in and show us won't you we really will really good we to will. meet 100%. you all well done and good luck guys thank you <laughs>